Hi, I'm Kat and I play Red. Um, I love roller coasters. Um, I love going to theme parks. Uh, Pre-pandemic, we used to go to Fort Park every year for my birthday. Um, Rob would stand and hold the coats for us um, while we went on all the roller coasters. So, I do like a good theme park game. I quite like Steam Park. Rob finds it way too stressful with the whole real time aspect. So today we're having a look at something that's a little less stressful. It's a little less stressful than going on an actual roller coaster and it's also a lot less stressful than Steam Park. We are having a look at Ten Penny Parks designed by Nate Linhart and produced by Thunderworks Games. Let's have a look at it. You have five months to transform Fairview into the home of the world's greatest theme park using bankers, realtors, contractors and arborists to help construct crazy rides based through space and time. Inspire, thrill and awe your patrons to gain their visitor points because the player with the most visitors at the end will be given the key to the city and win the game. At the start of the game, each player is given three random quest cards. You're going to decide on one to keep and discard the other two. Now, these are all kind of the same. Um, I'm going to go with fantasy attractions. I'm going to take that one, pop it face down in front of me because you don't know what that is, and put the rest back in the box. The starting player gets the shovel token. Um, the rule book actually says the last person on a roller coaster gets it. So that'd be me, Rob. Sorry. Um, in player order, each player will choose a player board pick a side um, to keep and pop a tree on all the indicated spaces. See, they, they're only bushes and you're going to put a whole tree on them, but, you know, similar thing. The game is played over five rounds, which represent the five months. Each turn, you will place a worker and take the appropriate action. So let's have a look at the action spots. So the action spaces around the outside here can be used by anyone, everyone, multiple number of times. Um, I can go on here, yellow can go on here. I can then go on here again if I wanted to. However, these spots on the inside on the wheel, you can only ever have one worker on at a time. These are the builder spots. And then obviously we have our contractor, arborist, banker and realtor here. So let's take them off. The banker spot here costs you zero dollars and will allow you to gain two dollars. The arborist here simply allows you to clear two trees, costs you zero, and you're just going to take two trees off your board. The contractor here costs you zero and allows you to take one of these concession tiles, which you'll place on your board according to the rules, which we'll come on to in a bit. And lastly, but not least, over in this corner, we have the realtor. You're going to pay $3 and take oh, an expansion tile. You can choose which way up you want it. And you're going to pop that either on the left or the right of your player board. You can have as many of these as you want either side or both sides. And you're going to place trees on the indicated spots. Now, the builder spaces in the middle here, you're going to pay the cost shown on the cards. 
plus or minus any difference from the carousel here. Now the carousel's got a couple of zeros, it's got a plus one, a minus one, a plus two, and a minus two. So the hover races here would just cost you six dollars. Uh, the Volcano Tamar here is $5 minus one, so that would cost you four. So you're going to pay whatever your total is. So let's just have a quick look at Hover Races here, which would cost me six. I'm then going to find this token in the piles. And I'm going to get to place that on my board. Now, it can go any way around. I want anyway um, and let's put it here just oops as an example so the first thing you need to check is any spaces you're covering so here I'm going to be covering this thrill space so I'd move up one on oops gosh I'm moving everyone up one on the thrill track I then also get the emotion shown on the card so here I actually get one more thrill and I get two points in joy so oops let's move them one two so move up two there then I'm going to place that card face down in front of me and we'll come on to why later now when you place a tile you can't overlap them so you can't be done like that obviously you can't overhang the board again pretty obvious but the one important thing to note here is you cannot place a tile so that it's next to another tile that's a big no-no i'm just gonna move that tree however you can place it so that they touch diagonally. So, yeah, we could put that there. We can put it there. We can put it there. I mean, we can stick it out there on its own, but you know, you've got to try and use your space. So, like, nice little diagonal little kiss is fine. So, that is how you place tiles. So, pop my tree on. Now we've had a quick look at the basics, let's run through a turn. Now each player has a handy dandy player aid, so we can use this to cheat. The first thing that's going to happen is you're going to gain $3 plus any bonuses. Now at the moment, I haven't got any bonuses. Now you're going to get income from these little concession stands if you see some of them give you one dollar some give you two some of the rides once you've built them will also give you money i haven't got any of that i've got none of that it's all rubbish right now so i just get my free and that's it then you're going to place and activate workers so let's have a look at what i want to do Bearing in mind, I need these two fancy attractions. Shh, secret. I am going to go and build a fancy attraction. Plus, this is a nice big boy. So, this is $8 minus two. So, it's going to cost me six. And I need to find that shape. The Storm Giant. Yes, the Storm Giant. So, let's take the card and what do i get from that oops i need to move my markers back i am gonna get two thrill one or and one joy for that then i pop the card face down there and then i have to try and put this on my board now this can be horribly tricky and i kind of hate and love it for that I am actually going to put it there, which sucks oh, because I don't cover anything. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go there and I'm going to cover up this heart, which means I get one joy on the track. Now, some of these spaces will give you money. Um, these are wild. Um, 
emotion so you can take two of anything you wanted if you went there so let's have a look at what else i might want to do um how much money have i got one two not a lot one two three four so i'm gonna take a contractor action and i'm gonna take one of these tiles i don't know which one gosh i'm gonna take one that actually just gives me income um and i'm actually gonna pop it there to get two dollars in the meantime because i need some money and then my last action i think is going to be an arborist i'm going to start getting rid of these trees now i can't place in these spots or these spots so it kind of almost seems pointless removing those trees so i'm going to take these two off because they're near the bonus spots and that's it that's my three turns um that's one round after everyone has done their action step we're going to move on to the bonus step so to do that we need to have a look at the emotion tracks down the bottom here now this is where all that work moving up the tracks hopefully pays off the person leading on all three of the tracks will get a choice of bonuses to take so the player let's let's do let's oops, give some of these other players some advantages look at that i'm all heart me well yellow's all heart by the looks of it but on the thrill track the player in the lead can choose to move back one space and take the extra action worker which they're going to get for the next round only alternatively they can choose to put him back in the pool and gain one vp in a three or four player game the person in second place is also going to get a point on the or track the player furthest up can move back one and take the shovel track or they can take one point and pass it to the person on their right the joy track you can move back one to gain three dollars or take a point and then in a three or four player game don't forget these extra points because they all add up so i would have moved back on the frill and take the extra worker for the round so let's pop these back here after we've done the emotion tracks we're then going to move on to the advertising step and this is where your built rides come into play so you can spend money to advertise your rides so the storm giant here which looks kind of terrifying love it i can choose to pay three dollars to get three points which i'm gonna do that is why i was taking that extra money so there's my three and then my three visitor points you can all do that at the same time um so that ends up quite being quite quick then after advertising we move on to the cleanup stage now the first thing you're going to do is get rid of any of these little concessions that haven't been used um these are dependent on the number of players so we're set up for a three player game so we have six in a four player game you'll have eight so you have two for every player so six of those out return your workers which i'd already done because i'm bad and then the star player will get to move the carousel so they can move it wherever they want as long as it's moved so that's where it was last time see i need the fantasy rides so if i was the start player i'd probably do that and make that a nice little minus one not that i've got the money for it but you know dream on and um, then the last thing you're gonna do is move the round marker um and we are currently going into round two 
So going into the second round, the first thing we're going to do is the income step. So I'm going to get the standard three, but then I'm also going to get two dollars from my little hot dog stand there. So I've got four actions this turn because of the extra worker. So the first thing I'm going to do, it never works like this when you're actually playing, is go here and take three, four, and take my second fancy ride that I wanted. So there's my six dollars. I am going to get one frill and two joy, and I'm going to pop on top of the yellow there, and oops, take the card where there's wizard's jewel this is another one that looks like an absolutely terrifying and quite exciting roller coaster and i'm gonna pop that what do i want i'm ahead quite nicely on the frill track so i'm gonna go there so i'm covering that icon as i go up and then i'm gonna pop that there so that's one of my actions now my, I, I like my concessions giving me that extra money but I might also want to expand, which means I need money. So I'm going to go to the banker for $2. I'm then going to go, I'm, I'm going to carry on with this, go to the contractor and take another nice little um, concession stand. I'm going to take the little balloon stand, which means I'm going to go up one on the frill track. And then every income, that's going to give me one dollar. Now I can put that there because it's not touching. Not quite. Now the problem is I need some money for the end of the round for my advertising. So what am I going to do? I don't know. Oh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to look at this little Kraken well. Because this is at minus two and it only costs three dollars so it's only going to cost me one so i'm going to take that and then take the piece for it that's going to get me up one on the joy track Bing. and this little mama jar which i am going to put uh, it's not that many places i can put it i'm going to put it there which is going to give me one on the or track. It's very weird talking about or with an A rather than ORE for a board game because obviously we talk about or quite a lot in games. So that's the end of the second round. So we do the bonus step, the advertising step, clean up and go into round three. Obviously play will continue like this for five rounds. After the fifth round, the game is over and you're going to calculate and score end game points. Now, your player aid has a very handy final scoring on the other side. We do like a good player aid. So, the first thing we're going to look at is goal cards. Remember these from the start? And bing! End the game with two fancy attractions, which I did. So I will get three visitor points for that. So put two in and take five. Then you're going to get VPs from your built attractions. So these points here. So I'm going to get three, six, seven points for those. Then we're going to go back to the emotion tracks let's do 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 quickly ah, da, da. look no cheating here nothing to see now if you are on the eight space or above you're gonna get five victory points now you can see these little pointy rounds here um these are perfectly smooth these are spiky so once you hit these you're gonna get five for each of them so there i would get 10 it's amazing i've got that far when i've only built three attractions but we don't talk about that then if you're lucky enough that you have built six or seven attractions i only got three 
If you have six or seven attractions that you've built, you're going to get five points. If you've managed to build eight, you're going to get 10 points. So um, it does tell you on the card here. And there's also a handy reminder here on the board. So six or seven, five points, eight plus is 10 points. You're then going to count up your visitor points and the player with the most is the winner. So, Ten Penny Parks, um, it's definitely the lighter end of the sort of things we play. However, the five rounds means it's really tight. Um, so it actually, although the gameplay itself is fairly lightweight, the fact that you've got limited turns to do everything makes it a little bit more complex. You're going to be constantly scrabbling for money as well um, because you want to expand. You need the money at the end of each round for your advertising, for your points. So it's a bit of a nice little surprise. Visually, it's amazing. Um, this carousel is just adorable. It fits back in the box built as well. So once you put it together once, that's it. You haven't got to worry about it. And it genuinely has some of the feel of the fair. See, I thought before I said that. Um, it's definitely got that element of whimsy and charm that you get at a fair or a theme park. Um, so I really like that, especially when it's so miserable outside and we're not going anywhere fun like this. The workers are super cute and quite big. Everything is chunky and nice. Um, the money is really thick. The points are really thick. It's just a really well thought out, well put together game. And we like that. Um, it plays in about, I was going to say about 45 minutes, an hour, something like that. Um, it says 45 to 75 here. Up to four players. Um, I picked this up at Gen Con. I think it's been out um, a little while already. I think it's been around for quite a lot of this year um but honestly i picked it up partly because of theme and partly because of the awesome carousel um we do like a good component or two um and it was a nice surprise um so it's ten penny parks um from thunderworks games uh, available now check it out I hope you liked this video. If you did, click like, subscribe and all that stuff. You know what to do, but you're not doing it, so do it. Um, come and say hello on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at iPlayRed. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.